Hello and welcome to the Getting Things screencast. This is episode six, Recurring Tasks. As you continue to use things to track your tasks, you may find that there are certain tasks that need to be repeated regularly. Things comes to the rescue with repeating tasks. To create a repeating task, simply go to the File, New Repeating To Do menu, or you can click on the Repeating To Do icon in the Scheduled Focus. Let's talk a little bit about how to effectively schedule the to-do and some typical gotchas that trip up new users. You start off by selecting when you want copies to be made, either on a regular calendar basis, daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly, or after completion. I'll talk about iCal events later. Note that you can actually add additional days if you do weekly, say for trash pickup. For the after completion items, you simply determine when the next copy will be due afterwards. For the next section, you can actually enter the date that you want to start if you don't want to start on the immediate next day. Then you pick when you want it to end. You either want it to go on forever until you delete this repeating task, or you want it to end after a certain number of times, or you want it to end on a certain date. This, these parts in gray show when the next items will be created. Notice that there is text here that says copies are created daily. If you select each copy has a due date, it says copies are due daily, but it's created a certain number of days before. This is fairly confusing to new users, but I think it actually works very well. If you want trash, let's say, to be picked up daily, or let's do weekly, and let's add this Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. Those are the days they're due but maybe you want to be reminded of it one day before. Let's also look at monthly. Let's say you have a bill that's due on the 15th of every month. It's due on the 15th. Well, let's say you want a reminder 10 days before. Now, that's something that has a due date. What about something that you want to water the lawn uh, weekly? let's say, or after completion. So you want to water the lawn three days after you completed it last. And it would have no due date. So you've got something repeating and you want to reschedule. Let's go ahead and look at that. Now we're in the scheduled box. We want to reschedule. We can either reschedule here, or we can open it up and click on the reschedule in the lower right. Uh, it simply brings up the same dialog that you can enter in the same data for. If you're going out of town for a while, you can actually pause this. It won't create the new items. And then when you get back, you can resume it. A little note if you're syncing with your iPhone. Repeating tasks that have been created do sync with your iPhone. But the master task doesn't sync. The iPhone won't show the repeating tasks unless you've synced that morning. You may have also noticed that there's one other option for frequency schedule that's uh, rather unfortunately placed. I think, and it's the iCal events. It's a very useful way to bring certain meetings or events into things. I check things much more often than I check iCal, so I actually like to have events from my personal calendar put on here. Now, if you say each copy has a due date, then it'll check these days before 
and kind of give you give you an upcoming list of events that are coming. I like to do one day before, that way I know all the things that are going to go on tomorrow. When you type in text, that's going to be prepended to the title. You can tag it, or you can give it a note. Now, my event from iCal is here. Now, we haven't talked about projects yet, but I would like to show you something. Let's go ahead and add a few tasks. Now, let's say that this is a project that I want to regularly repeat. You can actually go select the project from projects, make sure you do it here, and go to items, make repeating, or you can hit option, command R. Now you can actually schedule a repeating project. Now this project is scheduled. We have one copy here and there will be another copy that's made next month on the 1st. I hope you've learned how repeating tasks can help you manage your regularly recurring tasks. Check us out next time. We'll discuss projects more fully and how to use them effectively. See you then.